Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Aaron. Welcome back to the Mod Sauce. Had a little bit of an audio problem when I just recorded a clip, so I switched microphones. And we're going to try this again. We Basically, all I did was set up the fuel refineries. We've got a few options to do this. There's the Galactocraft refinery, which is what I chose to use because I wanted to kind of keep with the same mod. Um, the Billcraft refinery and the, um, the refinery plus will also work. But for this, I set up the Galactocraft refineries. We have a barrel or a drum rather of oil. A little bit of it and um, these things are pretty slow particularly if you're running them off solar panels uh, one neat thing about these it's kind of a pain but it is neat the way they did it um, you know the Sun comes up on that side of the earth or the Minecraft world or whatever part of the day the building blocks the Sun and when it does the solar panels actually say Sun not visible or partially visible and they decrease their power output. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, so I'm pumping out a one of these into a resonant portable tank. And I don't know what happened. It says I have 60. I had about 3,000 millibuckets before I started recording. So I'm not really sure what happened there. This one, um, I've been filling with fuel canisters, and each one I think only holds, I guess that's a thousand millibuckets. So these only hold a bucket. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what the problem is with this portable tank. I can never hit that just right. See, now the fuel level reads correctly. We've got about eight buckets of fuel in there. So I'm going to leave this up here and I'll probably go ahead and put another fluid conduit on this one just because I don't want to make a bunch more fuel canisters. So the power has to go into the top of the refinery and I didn't try to pump oil in on the right. Uh, this is the front of the machine. I I just set it up from left to right because that was my instinct. So oil may go in the right. I'm not really sure. So what we do with this fuel is I've actually run an aluminum wire all the way down the inside of this wall right here. And it comes underneath and we need to put the fuel loader there. And you'll notice it'll make a little block right here when it connects and it'll take a little while to get to get power since the refineries are working right now but if we put a filled fuel canister in here see we have well now it's a bucket it's going down if we hop in the rocket and hit f we can see how much fuel we have i guess each of those lines is a bucket i don't know it looks like there are about 12 or so maybe a little more I went ahead and put all our heavy oxygen tanks in here. So it looks like, I don't know if that's my jet pack. It probably is. Let's get out of there. I thought it would be really weird if the, the engine was already on. Um, so we'll load fuel that way. I'll actually want to try to put the portable tank on top of that, that fuel loader. And then, um, set it on output mode and see what happens. I have not tried that yet, so I wanted to try that right now. And I don't think it's going in there. So let's try to put a fluid duct on the side or a fluid conduit. It does connect to that side, so that will probably work. If it does not, yeah, that one works. At least it looks like it's working. Yeah, we're still getting fuel in here. 
So if that wouldn't have worked, what we could do is you can actually fill and empty these canisters with a fluid transposer. Uh, so we could do it that way. I'm not really going to worry about it. It says no fuel to load. Maybe that wasn't working. Maybe I just got that much fuel in there. Uh, I don't want to knock out the floor of this. So let's put another fluid conduit. We'll actually tell it to extract. Usually, if you just whack this, the fuel will come out. See, it went into the uh, to the fluid duct. But it says no fuel to load, so I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe we got this much fuel out of out of one thing. The one thing that bothers me about this is when you get out of the rocket, you stay in third person mode. Let's turn this back to insert. We'll put all of our fuel back in there, hopefully. And while that's working, we'll throw another in here. And we'll see where we end up. So one bucket got us a little little higher than I thought it would. Or one canister, one bucket, whatever. So I guess two canisters might bring us up to about 50% full. I don't know how much you need to actually get anywhere. So I'm going to fill it up all the way. And then um, I want to bring about probably all five of these extra canisters with us. Just so we don't get stuck. So I guess I'm just going to forfeit whatever fuel is left in the, the fluid conduit there. And I'll just, um, I'll just put this tank right there and I guess I'll just set these to fill the other two up. And before I hooked that thing up, it was actually filling up the canisters before it filled up the buffer. But I guess since I'm extracting that, um, the fuel gets sucked out before it can fill up the canisters. So I probably will end up taking this fuel and filling some canisters in the fluid transposer. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to let this run. We've got plenty of oil to refine, about 2,700 buckets. So I'm going to let that go. And I'm not really sure what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. But when I figure it out, I will rejoin you. So I'll see you in just a second. Hey, welcome back, guys. I have taken the liberty of compiling a list of things that we're going to need to take to the moon. Number one on the list at the top, you can see it's glow torches playing around in my test world. Never really occurred to me that torches won't work on the moon because there's no oxygen, but they won't. So we're going to need to make some of that. We're going to need power for the moon. Um, we're going to have to use the aluminum wires and the reason is because there's a thing called a sealable, where is it? Sealable wire or pipe. If we take a look, what it is, it's basically a block with like wire running through it or a block with the oxygen pipe running through it. So if we're going to make a moon base, you got to have a way to get your oxygen through the walls. Um, there is something called an airlock. And you need at least seven frames in one controller. But I just realized that the airlock requires meteoric iron. So I put the bubble distributor as optional. Basically what it does is it makes a bubble of oxygen a certain radius around itself. Um, so I think you can probably use that instead of like an airlock and stuff in a sealed structure 
for like a little while, but um, that's it's such a shame. We're just going to have to find meteoric iron. That's all there is to it. Um, some other things we're going to need. We're going to need the oxygen sealer. It uses 320 oxygen per second, and the collectors generate 140 per second. So we're going to need three collectors, which will leave some oxygen left over in case we want to bring a compressor along and compress some more. We're definitely going to need the oxygen mask and gear. And how you put them on, I didn't know this. It adds a new tab over here. And I guess this is uh, spacesuit stuff. But you put your oxygen tanks here, your gear here, your mask here, your parachute goes here. And this is something I actually saw it in NEI, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, so this is all the stuff I'm going to have to get together before we blast off. Most of it's pretty easy to get. Very quickly, before we go any further... I actually made a mistake about the um, the fuel loader over here. Remember, I was trying to pump the fuel into it. Well, it turns out it's two-sided like anything else. So you got the power on this side. You can actually pump fuel in this side. I just did not orient my aluminum wire correctly to power the thing. So, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could pump a bunch of fuel in and then rotate it around and let it load it. But as it happens, three canisters of fuel filled us up to 100%. So I also put launch pad on the list. I don't remember uh, when we land on the moon. I don't remember if we get the launch pad back or not. So I want to bring an extra one just in case. And we've got 54 buckets of fuel, which isn't bad. Uh, I also have this extra fuel loader to bring to the moon as well. So I think we're actually in pretty good shape. All I need to do is craft those machines up on the list over there. The thing said to bring solar power, but in my test world, they never saw the sun. I don't know what was up with that, but... I've got a barrel full of charcoal. We can make some of those Galactocraft generators and just pump them in there with Ender IO conduits, which is what I did in my test world. It worked just fine. So unfortunately, we can't use energy conduits uh, due to the fact that we're going to have to um, pump oxygen into a sealed place. I guess we could use conduits in the beginning, but once we actually make the base, when we make an airlock, we're definitely going to have to use the sealable wall stuff. The wiki says you could use pistons, like make a piston door, as long as there are sealable blocks, like uh, probably stone. I know dirt works, um, so we could probably set something up like that, but we'll have to work on that a little later. So I'm going to get some things together, and I think if I get everything together, we may actually just blast off this episode. So let me do some things, and I'll see you in just a minute. Welcome back once again, guys. I've got everything together. We need to do one thing. I was just reading the wiki, looking to see if the Tier 2 rocket was a two-seater. I don't think it is. But the maximum safe fuel level for this rocket that we have, it's 60%. And I think it might be the same for the Tier 2. You can take off with one bucket of fuel in it. So since we have 100%, I want to break this thing. And then, oh, I guess I get all my cargo too. Um, replace it. And then just put one bucket in there. Because I don't want to blow up like the Challenger, right? So we're going to let this load the fuel. I think it's loading. Oh, it didn't. I didn't lose my fuel. It said if you, um, if you break the rocket, 
you actually lose the fuel. So, well, um, whoops. Okay. Anyway, uh, one thing we need to do real quick, we need to fill this thing up. We need to put on some of this stuff just in case. I'm not sure if we need it while we're actually flying in the spaceship or not, but I don't want to take the chance. So I went ahead, I guess I can show you this. I want to bring some eggs. I want to see what happens to chickens in zero gravity and no oxygen. I went ahead and made the sealable oxygen pipe and aluminum wire, and I got some sticky pistons and some other stuff in my bag uh, to make more glowstone torches and um, I figured I'd make some of these Galactocraft blocks. I don't really know if I like how they look or not, but I figured I would make them anyway. And I think we're ready to go. Maybe I should put this stuff on first. How about that? And I better open, I better open the, the doors. <laughs> that would be uh that would be very bad. Hopefully it still works. I haven't opened them today. I actually had to load this chunk because I have four blocks in the left ones and five in those. And since the chunk chunk wasn't loaded all the time, I only have four in there now, which is why there was the one block gap. So I just left it because I kinda like it. But I hope we have everything. If we don't, it's tough luck. I'm going to hit launch right now, and we're going to fry the chicken and take off to the moon. So let's see what happens. Here we go. And we can steer this thing. I can spin it. I can steer it. I can go into F5 mode and look out the window. And we're leaving our Minecraft world. Man, look at our base from way up here. That can't be. Is that really? I guess it is. So it looks like we're about halfway there. I'm going to shut up and I'll meet you in space. All right, welcome to space. This is how it looks. If we click overworld, you notice it highlights the earth. If we had brought these things, we could make a space station. I don't really know what good that does, so I'm not really worried about that. So we'll just click Overworld again, and now we can see the moon. If we click on the moon, we can zoom again. But that's really unnecessary. We just need to click Launch. Okay, here we go. I actually got stuck. I had to exit the game, and there's no way to do that without just closing it. There's no quit to home screen button or anything. So now we're falling. You can see we're up around level 500, falling fairly quickly. I have my thumb on the space bar. If I let off, you see our rate of descent increases. And I'm not really sure... If other people enter the moon, like where they come in, so I want to go over some just so they don't land on top of me. So here we are, our awesome little moon lander. And I guess this is us inside it. <laughs> All right, so we hit shift to get out. You can see that we're wearing our oxygen gear on top of our armor. 
And if we, oh, a frequency module. I guess that's what that does. I don't even need that. So look at this, okay? This is the remaining fuel from our rocket. So if we had empty canisters, we could put the canister here and fill it up. We do get our launch pad and we get our rocket. And then we have all of these oxygen tanks as well. So this is basically like whatever the contents of your rocket was when you took off, it ends up in the lander with the rocket and the launch pad. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, really, if I made some extra fuel canisters or if I had an empty one, we could just fill it up right here. So here's the moon. My jetpack engine is on, but if I jump, you see we jump really high. If I hover, it's pretty awesome. I was just reading that the day and night cycle on the moon, it's about two hours and 40 minutes or so. So that's pretty long. Uh, we've got some moon turf, which is useless. The moon dirt, I believe, is also useless. But the moon rock, I think you can turn into fences and stairs and stuff like that. So I didn't want to just hit the moon and leave it like that as a cliffhanger. But I think I'm going to have to... Because I was going to make it a long episode, but since I was stuck in space for so long, I really have no idea how long I've been at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here and I'll start recording right when I leave here and we'll do the next episode right now. So welcome to the moon, everybody. In the next episode... We'll get a little base set up. We'll get some oxygen generation going and then we'll start exploring to see if we can find any dungeons or anything cool like that. And um, maybe we can make a tier two rocket and go to Mars or something like that. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you have any questions, comments or anything like that, please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.